Kia ora, Nick here from Film Convert. I've just been geeking out lately on our plugin Film Convert Nitrate, and I thought I'd share a few things about what's going on underneath the bonnet of this piece of software. There are three main parts of Nitrate's control panel, the film stock emulation, grain controls, and secondary controls. So we're gonna do a tour of the film emulation and achieve a few looks. And in the next video, we'll dive into those other controls. Now, Nitrate is known for its exacting film stock emulation. The resulting colors are very faithful to the original film stocks and gives that classic, romantic, organic look. It's a very powerful but simple to use tool, which is why we have quite a diverse range of users from solo shooters to high-end colorists. And there's so many use cases, it's, it's really wonderful to see how Nitrate gets used by filmmakers worldwide. And once you move beyond Nitrate's default settings and make some minor adjustments, you can get some really good looks and begin to develop your own personal style. So let's play. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but you will get the same control panel if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. So when I drag Film Convert onto the footage, you will immediately notice a change, but we're not there yet. Forget about this default sRGB view. Forget about it. One thing in which you must, 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 must must do is to select the camera and picture profile that corresponds with your footage. So here's a shot I did with my colleague Hennessy the other day, and I used the Sony A7S Mark III. So once I've applied that, now you'll see a film emulation applied to the footage. I am going to quickly save this as a preset because it can get quite tedious making that camera selection over and over again every time you drag film convert nitrate onto footage. And in Premiere Pro, of course, you can save this as a preset or in uh, DaVinci Resolve as a power grade. The reason that it's so important that you select the camera and picture profile for your footage is because the camera packs are Nitrate's secret source. And if you don't have a camera pack that corresponds with your camera, then you should download one immediately. We have an ever-expanding library of color, data, 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 depending on your, your English pronunciation. We've profiled more than 100 cameras, how they expose light and treat color. And then we're translating that data from your camera to celluloid film. It means that any adjustments that are made in the nitrate control panel are more accurate than if you were to just simply slap a lot onto your footage. So after adding your camera pack, you'll want to tweak your exposure because each film stock exposes differently. And then here's the film stocks. You can cycle through them and find the one you like. Currently we have 19, including uh, Fuji and Kodak motion picture stocks, but also popular still stocks. Right now, I'm a big fan of Provia slide film. So for the shot of Hennessy, I'm going to select FJ Prov 100, which is our Provia emulation. Now I'm just gonna go across this other clip. This is from a more formal shoot, which was made with a dancer. Big shout out to Wei Chu Huang. Um, who's very talented. And for this shot, I'm choosing a monochrome stock. I'll choose LFNFP, which emulates Ilford, which is a, a good high contrast kind of film. And I think just for fun, I'm going to include the shot of a dog. <laughs> this is Pecky the dog. And I'm going to use the default film stock, which is uh, KD5207, which is based on the Kodak Vision 3 5207 motion picture stock. Have you noticed that I've chosen different camera profiles for those last two shots? It's because these shots were made using log profiles on the camera. We recommend that you acquire your footage using log. It gives much more information that um, Nitrate can use uh, to, to make a better emulation for you. But let's talk about log and Cineon. There are two sliders here, marked film color and Cine to PFE, which means Cineon to print film emulation. When log footage comes into Nitrate, it follows a Cineon workflow. So what is Cineon? Thanks for asking. So I've got these two sliders, uh, one's film color and one's Cineon to print film emulation. There's two things happening here. And the first converts your footage into Cineon, which is how the celluloid negative work gets scanned. If you had acquired this footage using traditional analog celluloid film, it would go through a scanner and that scanner would produce a Cineon log image. And so that's what's being produced here. So if I peel both of these sliders back, you'll see an image which resembles that of the footage you've taken. And if I'm to bring the slider up, this is the film emulation being applied. You 
uh, controlling the mix between the film emulation and your original footage. And the same goes for this one, which is the Cineon print film emulation control. The print film emulation reproduces how your footage would look if it was projected on a cinema screen. Almost like in a conventional workflow, you would convert your log image to Rec 709 for viewing on a monitor. Some Nitrate users find this to be a crunchy kind of a look. So there's no crime, there's absolutely no crime in peeling back the print film emulation to reduce the contrast just to your liking. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Now I've shot Hennessy using an sRGB profile on my camera. And you'll notice that because we've selected an sRGB profile, I'm given two different sliders, which aren't the ones you just saw earlier. And that's film chroma and film luma. So chroma can give some control to your color and luma can control your contrast. But let's be honest, log is better than sRGB when you're shooting for film convert nitrate. So already I've applied a film stock emulation to the shot. But we want to go a bit further and add some grain. Grain adds a bit more of a character to your image. And I think that's what we're going to start playing with in the next video. So this should be goodbye because I think you're probably going to join me straight away in the next one. So see you then.